and welcome to Ecoholics. So I have been doing the series where I'm doing the past year questions from IIT JAM economics paper. So I have done solutions to few questions previously. So if you wish to see the solution to the, those questions, there is a link in the description box. You can go and watch those lectures. So let's just get into the another question. So it's question number 17 from IIT JAM Economics 2021 paper. So it says there are only two firms in an industry producing a homogeneous product, product and having identical production technology. So only two firms are present in the industry which are producing the same product which is identical also. So the cost function of firm I is given to me like this. So the cost function of every firm is q i square. So if I have firm 1, its cost function would be q 1 square. So if I have firm 2, its cost function would be q 2 square. So that's how. Where q i is the quantity produced by firm i. So whatever quantity firm i would be producing, the cost function contains that quantity and its square. The market demand for the product is P equals to 100 minus Q. So this is the market demand. So whenever any firm produces, whenever there is a production happening in any firm or industry, that has to be matched by the market demand because no firm would produce more than the market demand or less than the market demand. So in equilibrium, everyone would be producing at the market demand, the quantity market is demanding. So this, uh, this is the demand function of my market where P is the unit price. It's a unit price of every good which these two firms are producing and Q is Q1 plus Q2. So Q is basically like because we know there are two identical firms. So whatever would be demanded in the market that would be catered by these two firms. So Q is the market uh, what like the quantity market is demanding. So it would be catered by the firm 1 and the firm 2. So that's why Q1 plus Q2. That's the aggregate quantity. So assuming the firms are price takers, so this is a really important uh, assumption that they are price takers, they cannot influence the price of the industry. So because if any one of them lowers the price, uh, the people will go to that firm. So that's why they are price takers, they cannot decide on the price, whatever will be the price prevailing in the market, they would have to work with that. So in competitive equilibrium, what is the condition of my price taking firms are? So, the in quantity, uh, competitive equilibrium, the firms would operate at the point where prices are equal to their marginal cost. So, it means if I can equate the price equal to the marginal cost of both the firms individually, I can get my competitive equilibrium conditions. So, let's just get into the solution. So, what was our what was our uh, price uh, function? It was 100 minus Q. So Q, we know that Q is the market demand. So Q will be equal to Q1 plus Q2. So I'm writing here 100 minus Q1 minus Q2. And my cost function of every firm was QI square. That was it. So I for the first firm, I'm doing it first. So I will equate price equal to marginal cost of first firm. So marginal cost of first firm, it means the price is this 100 minus Q1 minus Q2. For marginal cost, I will just differentiate like this is the cost function of first firm. So it will be Q1 square. So I will just differentiate with respect to Q. So I will get what? I will get 2Q1. So let's just put it together 2Q1. So upon solving Q1 will go to other side, I will get 100 minus Q2 equals to 3Q1. So I will get Q1 equals to 100 minus Q2 upon 3. That's the condition for your first form. Similarly, I can do it for the second form also. So price equal to marginal cost 2. So it will be 100 minus Q1 minus Q2 equals to Q2. 2q2 that's the marginal cost of my second form so again solving it i will get 100 minus q1 upon 3 equals to q2 now i can just substitute this q1 back to my this function here so 100 minus 
the value of q1 is 100 minus q2 upon 3. So, 100 minus q2 upon 3 divided by 3 equals to q2. So, 3 into, I will take the LCM 3. So, it will be 300 minus 100. So, I will get 200. So, 200 plus q2 and 3 will go in the denominator. So, 9 equals to q2 here. So, upon solving, what will I get? I will get that 200 plus q2 equals to 9q2. Clear? So, doing this, I will get what? I will get q2, 8q2 equals to 200. So, again, the q2 is what? The q2 is 200 upon 8 and if I will solve it further, I will get what? I can cancel it with 4. So, I will get 100 by, I will get 50 by 2. Clear? So, 25 it would come. 25. So, q2 is 25. Similarly, if I will put the value of this q2 in my q1, I will get q1 also equal to 25. So, I have got the values for q1 and q2. Now, I have just to do what? q1 plus q2 makes my quantity, makes my market demand. So, it means q is what? q is 25 plus 25. So, q is 50. So, that's the value of q I needed for my question. Then, if I put this value of q here, I can get a value of p. So, p will be what? p will be 100 minus 50. So, p will also be 50. So, I have got the answers for my question. Q is also 50. P is also 50. So, according to this, what are the given options to me? Let's just see that. So, it will be option number D. That's the correct answer. P is 50. Q is 50. Correct? So, this was the solution to question number 17. I would be doing more questions on IIT, IIT Jam Economics. So, if you want to see those questions, Please like, share and subscribe to the channel. Thank you everyone.